Hello everyone! <laughs> Today we're going to do my, my Yolande's hair and she will be blonde. <laughs> Champagne blonde. And she will turn for you to show you what the hair she has now. But it will be a short hairstyle. You might want your eyes cut. Mooi licht is dit, ja. Graag. Dankjewel. As always, the first thing to do is to start with the protection. So I give her a paper crap. I think I'll more about paper crap. Yeah. I think was crap paper. Purple cape. Purple cape. Mm -hmm. You have hand grepen, so you can take it out. Oh, geweldig. I think that's a soft one on the mirror, baby. Yeah. That the quarter arm you set. So, it will be a stable hairstyle, but sexy short. Okay, it's good. I start with the side where I think this is shortest on her hairstyle, and it's uh, the left side. And I cut the hair in the drape of the fall of the scale. So in this hairstyle I don't use point cut techniques, I will use slice techniques but then very rough, so there will be no uh, thin ends on the hair. I just want to make the moves in it and create some depth in it. Zo we tegen de muur zitten, yeah. maar dat doe ik toch maar niet. Maar nu kan ik de muur makkelijker gebruiken ook. Ja, yeah. yeah, dan, dan ben je net wat flexibeler. Ja. Dan, zei het, dan zijn je ogen zo... Uh, dan moet ik wel heel schuin gaan kijken. Ja, maar dat maar doe wat... ik niet hoor. Hè? Dat doe ik niet hoor. Niet? I see the light. Nou, we hebben ook kinderen op school echt met boven bouwen. Marjolein, je haar is niet goed gekleurd. Ja. Ik zei, nee, dat weet ik, dat deed uitgroeien. Het is ja. gewoon weer hard gegroeid. Ik zei, ik ga vanmiddag naar de kamer. Ja. Oh, oké. Okay. Schaduw zit erin. Ja. Ik hou je behind the ears. En ik connect het to the line I just cut on the upper layer. Because I started on the upper layers. And that I work out to the front. Hold the line behind the ear, stable. And now I'm going to create a softer line. Because that's behind the ears and below the ears. So the line will be more feminine. Femininity. I'll use femininity. Dat is weer leuk. Ja, femininity. Femininity. Ja, zeker. <laughs> I don't want to be boy. I want to be feminine. <laughs> yes. Yes.
Then I do it the point cut technique, just in the soft ends of the hair, just just the last touch of the hair. And I don't want a straight line, so I just play with the hair. Just travel over the back of her head, use the skull lines as guide. And when I'm over the center line of the skull, I'm gonna turn it the other way. Spannend, hè? Ja, turn it the other way. Oh, ik ben zo een turn geweest. <laughs> Stay in the blunt lines. And the hair will be a finger thick. Alles redelijk gelijkmatig groeit. Absoluut. On this line I use a rough slice cut technique just to create some air into the line. So I get some move in it but not a thin line at the end of the hair. My line is here geweest. Ja, ja, ik zie het al. Weer in elkaar geslagen. Maar nou, ooit komt het goed, schat. Ja. Dus hebben ze nog één gemaakt. Ja, zeker. Als ze het allemaal kwijt zijn, dan moeten ze dat er ook in maken. Ja. Use the same small slice point technique at the contour line below the ear, not above the ear. Because behind the ear it will be the same straight line. In this line behind the ear will be a straight line again and connected to the soft line I created below her ear. Look at the drape, make minor adjustments. The same technique I used on the back side, I use now on the sides. Just play with my scissor and take small parts of the hair, so I get more depth in it. But there will be blood lines. It's a more rough slice cut technique. With my small clipper, I take off the hair I don't use in this hairstyle, but remain the soft lines. Now I'm coming to the upper hair, and I use the same technique as I did on the sides. Keep it away from the crown but create depth into the hair by cutting off small parts of the hair. Give it air, but not thin in the ends. This will make the hair more playable. And it's funnier to watch because when you create something like this you, and you lay it in, in a flat line, you see all the techniques in it. Klinkt ook leuk, hè? Mijn adjustments to the, the technique I just bring into her hair. She has wonderful hair to do this with. Now, 
leuk. Oké, okay. nou we're ready to uh, rumble now to call up. <laughs> Gonna make her a bleach. So I'm back in a few seconds. I made uh, a blue bleach. 9%, 30 volume. And I put it over the total hair because with short hair you don't leave out the ends. I put in a deep conditioner. Always to protect the hair. And I put also in an ash tone to create less yellow tones. Most of the times it takes about 20-25 uh, minutes to create an ultra blonde line. Lay around the head and on top of the bleach a carton wig. This protects the hair from overheating and processing. And it gives room to the bleach to rise, rise up because most times it does when it heats and it gives less damage to the hair. We're back after uh, 20 minutes. What I put on now is uh, a colorance of um, Goldwell, uh, KMS, in the United States. And what I use is a 10 champagne. I put it into the bottle, mix it, and then bring it on to a hair. And that I leave in for five minutes. It fills the hair, neutrally says colors. And give it the top condition. Massage it into the hair. And after five minutes, I rinse it out and just put in a slight conditioner, and then we're back to try the hair. What I use to style the hair is uh, Zero Retail or Lanza. Just because I love the product. And as always, it smells nice. Yeah, it smells very nice. Yes, it smells like spring. I blow it right with my hands. And I lay it in the shape I just cut the hair. What we use now is uh, a soft wax, fat way, and it's from Rofa. And that I do to let you see the, uh, the shapes of the techniques I put in, the depth in, into the blonde color, and to add more shine. Clean the contour line, put my razor knife. And my new hairstyle for my land is ready. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> and she will show it to you. Okay my love, you made a turn for the world. Thank you very much. Thank you.